Frost Mage is a really straightforward rotational DPS spec, and I'm going to teach you how to do it as a beginner. The idea of this guide is to help you achieve up to ahead of the curve in heroic raiding and or Keystone Master in Season 3 10.2 of the Dragonflight expansion. If you are looking at doing mythic raiding or super duper high keys, don't worry, because this is going to give you a really firm understanding of the core principles of Frost Mage. First of all, let's look at the stat priority. This is my priority pyramid. So the biggest part at the bottom is what I always say. So we're going to want the most of mastery, then haste, then crit to 33.34%, and then verse. And then after verse, it would then be more crit. But we, you know, like I will say, it's not a firm thing. Like, oh my gosh, I need to get to 33%. This is like the absolute kind of optimum that you'd need to get to. Ideally, I wouldn't really worry about this. And if it's an eye level increase, especially as a beginner, then you're all good because it's going to have more intellect. And before we actually get into the rotation itself, let's look at some of the core cooldowns and abilities you have at your disposal as a Frost Mage in 10.2. First, at the top here, we've got Ice Cold. This is a defensive ability that is going to give you damage reduction, well, dealt to you, and it's also going to heal you. We've also got Greater Invisibility, which is another great defensive we have, which loses all threat and you take 60% less damage. Then let's look at the two at the bottom here, which are kind of more utility. Mirror Image is going to sum mirror images of you that are going to attack for you. Time Warp is probably one that we all know. It is similar, well, it's the same thing as Bloodlust or Heroism. And this is going to increase haste by 30% for the entire party. Then our major offensive one that we're going to be using a lot of is Icy Veins. This is going to increase your haste massively. It's also going to summon an elemental that over time is going to increase your damage. And we're pretty much going to be using this when we have, you know, parts in the fight where we can really thrash out as much damage as possible or just using it on cooldown when appropriate. And this is basically going to be our, you know, our burst damage phase. Then looking at some of the utilities we have, of course, we've got Polymorph, which is going to incapacitate your target. We then have Ar Arcane Intellect, which is going to buff the party with 5% Intellect. And then we have Counterspell, which is your Kick or Interrupt as a Mage. And Blink, which is your kind of, well, I say it's a speed boost. It doesn't actually speed you up. It teleports you forward a distance, meaning you can get out of anything you're standing in, um, et cetera, et cetera. This is the talent build that I recommend, and this is the best for beginners. I will put an import string down below in the description so you can put this straight into your game. And I'm not going to go through every single individual talent, but I would always recommend after you watch this video or when you're more comfortable and have had some practice in the spec that you just look through individual talents, see how they work together and do the same with your spellbook as well, because there are other abilities that we haven't spoken about, but they're just not that relevant as a beginner. Now, last but not least, of course, let's actually look at how this is all going to fit together and how we're going to play as a Frost Mage in Patch 10.2 Season 3 of Dragonflight. So one thing I will say is that I have this weak aura here in the middle of my screen, and I will put a dis uh, link in the description for this one as well. This is really great, and I have it for every class that I play, and it's going to track all of your kind of buffs and resources, etc., that you may need. Speaking of resources, there is one main resource or buff that we're actually going to be tracking as a Frost Mage, and this kind of is the foundation of our rotation. And that is Fingers of Frost. And this is going to be procking on this spell here, on this weak aura, or down here on our action bar, which is Ice Lance. So to look at the actual rotation itself then, number one is Flurry. This is on a 30 second recharge and has two charges. We're going to use this on cooldown. And this is going to make the target seem as if it's chilled or, or frozen, which is going to increase the crit chance as uh, with from us as a Frost Mage onto that target. So we're going to use Flurry on cooldown. And then we're going to immediately use Ray of Frost, which is on a one minute cooldown. And this is going to cause those Fingers of Frost procs here. And that is what you can see here procking. We're going to use number three on my action bar. Ice Lance to spend those procs. And that is the main thing you want to be using as a Frost Mage is spending those Fingers of Frost procs. Okay, so just to recap there, we're going to use Flurry, which is going to give the target Winter's Chill, making it as if it's frozen. 
When it's not on cooldown, we're going to then use Ray of Frost, which is going to give us two stacks of Fingers of Frost, our main buff. We're then going to use those procs of Fingers of Frost on Ice Lance. And then we're going to use Frozen Orb. What this does is it throws a Frozen Orb, as you can see, towards the target. The first target it hits, it's going to give us some Fingers of Frost, and then it's going to keep generating Fingers of Frost. And this is good for AoE, of course, and we're going to use it on single target like this. And as you can see here, we're getting lots of procs of Fingers of Frost. We're then going to use as a filler Frostbolt, okay? Frostbolt is your filler spell when you have nothing else to do. Again here, Flurry, Ray of Frost. Then we're going to spend our Fingers of Frost charges. And then we've got nothing else to do, so we're going to use Frostbolt, okay? We then have Shifting Power. This is one of your AOE spells, and use this for AOE. And then last but not least, we have Blizzard at number eight, which is, of course, an AOE spell. But we're also actually going to use this to reduce the um, cooldown on our Frozen Orb. So you can see in the tooltip here, each time Blizzard deals damage, the cooldown of Frozen Orb is reduced by 0 0.5 seconds, which means that we can use Frozen Orb sooner, which is really good at getting us those Fingers of Frost buffs, which we obviously want. And here are those procs again that we're going to be using. So just to recap here, again, Flurry, use this twice on cooldown, then use a Ray of Frost when you can. Okay, this is going to give us two Fingers of Frost. We're going to use these here. We're then going to use Frozen Orb if it's not on cooldown, and then we're going to use Frostbolt as a filler. We're then going to use our Icy Veins as our damage cooldown, and we're going to use Blizzard to reduce that cooldown on Frozen Orb, and Shifting Power is our other AoE ability. And that is pretty much the core rotation for a beginner on Frostmage. Hopefully this was simple and easy to understand. I have also done a lot of other class guides, so make sure to check out my channel in case you're interested in any others. And if you do have any questions at all, just ask in the comments below or join my Discord where I'd be more than happy to explain any other questions or queries you may have.